Howdy, how's it going? I tell you what, the, the people of Buffalo, the people of Rochester and just Bills, fan, Bills fans in general are great. Um, I remember the last time I was over here, I said something about the toilet paper. And four days later, like, I got all types of toilet paper just in the mail and wipes and plant-free plant, plant free wipes from all types of fans. And, you know, it's, uh, it, it's just great, man. And, you know, I think um, – those are the people that makes that that make you know my time here you know feel great. All the guys in the lunchroom and the cafeteria, and, you know everybody that's uh, behind the scenes that that make um, these things go. Man, I appreciate all of those guys from you know the janitors to like the helps in the kitchen. They ask me what we want to eat, like how could they make it better? You know all the um, all the ladies that take us around on golf carts. Everybody's so nice, and so for the things that you know you do lack, like. The great people here, the great vibes here, they definitely make up for all the things that you could perceive to be missing. So I'm ex I'm excited to uh, be a Bill like two weeks in, and it's, uh, I'm definitely feeling Bill's Mafia. I'm definitely feeling the love, and I appreciate you guys. I got a whole box. Like I just I just put him in the I just put him in a locker room. Like it was great. I, I wasn't trying to complain of that. I was just saying like my experience being in the dorms, like 33, you know, and then you come in and like. It's just so many different things that, that are different. And, you know, I, I just said, like, hey, the toilet paper's different. And, like, boom, like, boxes on boxes on boxes of toilet paper and wipes and stuff. And everybody's just trying to make my, my stay here a whole lot easier, man. I just want to say publicly, man, I appreciate all of you guys, and I'm grateful. Have you gotten that kind of delivery before? Is that a first? I mean, fans are always great, but, you know, this is this is, this is is just different. You know, you, you say one thing in front of the media, you don't even expect it to uh, – you know, blow up like it did. It, it blows up, and you got fans reaching out, and so many different, so many different vibes, and so many different people that's trying to that's trying to help out, and you know, make your time here great, man. I'm I'm appreciative of it. Well, it's not a game, but are you excited for the fans to see them at the stadium tomorrow? What was it? Obviously, it's not a game, but are you excited to see the fans? Just get your first experience of seeing fans. I'm I'm, the I'm excited. I'm excited, man. I'm excited to uh, to be in the stadium. I played there three times. We lost all three. You know. Now I'm on a different side of the ball, and um, I'm excited to see Bills Mafia. I'm excited to see what they can do. You know, everybody, you know, everybody, you know, hypes them up, and everybody has so many great things to say. And you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm familiar with Bills Mafia, but to see it up close and personal at the stadium, man, I'm excited about it. Did all the toilet paper arrive at the same time, or did it just? It just, like, it, I still coming in. It's still, still coming in. Like, and when, when the first one, you saw the first one. It's like, what, what did you think? Did you? Did the first one came in. It was just like a box of. Uh, it, it was just a. I don't want to say any names, you know, because you know these toilet paper companies, they're not. You know, not paying me yet or nothing like that. But I had some really great, I had some really great toilet paper. You know, just show up, show up outside of my dorm room. That was the, that was the first one. It was like a four pack, and then it was another eight pack. Like the next day, then it was some wipes came in the mail from some Bills fans, and it was plant -based, plant based. And you know, it just it's just every day. It's like toilet paper everywhere. So I I appreciate these guys. <laughs> It's, it's all good, man. It's all good, and you know that just that just shows the the power of Bills Mafia and the type of fan base that we have. Ed Oliver said, you know, at first when he came in, it was like, damn, Von Miller is here, but now he said it's changed into like you, you feel like a brother um, to him and, and to the defensive line already. Did you feel like that that switched pretty quickly um, once you got to training camp, or how has it been? Um, translating from like, wow, it's Von Miller into this guy's my teammate and he feels like a brother already. Um, I, I, you know, I don't really like to, you know, toot my horn on a lot of stuff, you know, especially like football wise and what I do. You know, I try to be humble, but um, when it comes to like being a great teammate, like I'm, I'm great at that. When it comes to, you know, guys seeing the, the, um, the good side of me and guys seeing like, you know, the, the camaraderie and guys seeing like the team bond, like that's that's one of the best things I do in this entire world is, you know, just hang with the guys and kick it with the guys and show them that I genuinely care about them, that I'm genuinely just one of the guys. And I learned that from greats like, you know, Peyton Manning and DeMarcus Ware and, you know, Matthew Stafford and Aaron, and Aaron Donald, all these guys with big names and then you get around them and they're like one of the guys. So you know, I learned that from them. You know, I just, I just try to like, you know, take all the, what everybody else says about me, and I just like to be one of the guys. I like to hang out. I like to do what they do. Um, if we uh, eat in the cafeteria, I want to eat in the cafeteria. I want to be like involved and around to get these to get these guys, you know, um, the opportunity to get to know me and me to get to know them. And um, it's it's fun to uh, really um, earn the trust and respect of your teammates, man. And you know, Ed was a big reason why I came here. Um, Greg and and AJ and Boogie and you know Phil and all these guys and Coach Washington. 
you know, all these guys are, um, you know, huge reasons why I came here. And it's, it's so much fun um, to be in a room with these guys, so much fun to hang out. This is the biggest room that I've ever been in. We got the D tackles, defensive ends in there. It's a fun room. The energy is great. And it's led by Coach Washington. He's, he's an he's a excellent coach, man. He knows how to relate to everybody. He knows how to bring the best out of everybody. He lets everybody be themselves, but he, he commands respect at the same time. So it's a balance act that he's so good at, man. And I'm just, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just happy to be here, happy to be a Buffalo Bill. Did you know, you know take on some of the intensity, you know, some of the scraps going on out there? I mean, I, I'm sure it's happened in the previous teams for you, but compare maybe what's happening in this one to... Uh, I, you, know, I'm, <laughs> you know, I don't like saying the old word. I don't like saying old, but, you know, when it comes to fighting out there in the field, like, it, that is past my time, man. Like, <laughs> it... <laughs> It really is, you know. I, you know, back in when you were young, you see somebody, you see somebody on defense getting a fight. You want to put your helmet on and run out there. You know, that's past me. I, I, I can say that that has passed me. Today, I tried to break up like Ed, like I tried to stop him from something. He just pushed me out of the way, and I was like, see, uh, you know, see, that's why I just need to chill and step back and let these guys do what they're gonna do, man. But that's just part of camp, man. It's just part of, of 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 the brotherhood, you know. When it comes to football, you know, um, it's gonna be some 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 high temper times. And you see that I see that with all the teams that, I, that I've been on. It doesn't matter if it's training camp; it could be the eighth week of the season. It could be any time. You know, you around these guys every single day. You compete. You compete at a at a high level every single day, and you know it just it just happens sometimes. So that's that's a good sign. We don't have anybody coming out here fighting every single day like consistently. It's just you know here and there, and you know we all care about each other. So it's it's really short lived, and you know you move on to the next day. It's a product of the intensity kind of being where it needs to be. I think it's just I think it's just uh I think everybody's just following Josh Allen. You know, the guy he's been taking boxing classes or something like <laughs> and obviously he's, he's a tough guy, man. So everybody's just following everybody's just following him and you know, we got a we got a group full of you know, we got a group full of tough guys here, tough smart guys and that's um that's that's a great foundation of a football team. Now we we all know um Ed is his own man, right? But how does lining up alongside of him give you those A D vibes? Oh, it's great, man. He, um, I don't really like com comparing guys. And, you know, I'm not gonna compare, you know, Ed to AD. You know, AD is the best defensive player that I've that I've ever played with. Um, so I don't like making I don't like making comparisons. But I tell you, Ed is Ed is his own man. Ed is is gonna have a bright future, and Ed will have a shot to be one of the, the best defensive players that ever played this game. He'll have his own path, and he'll be able to do it. Um, I see a lot of sim similarities. I'm not I'm not gonna compare. Like, you know, AD is his own animal, but. I see a lot of similarities. I see some some things that make Ed great. He has a great get off. He's able to pass rush, play the run. Um, he can get vertical in the guy. He can do pretty much anything. He can play. He can play a five. He can play a nine. Play a one. He can play a, a three. Anything. And um, you know, I got Greg and and Ed. Man, it, it it really just makes my my job so much easier, man. And and it's uh, it's comforting. You know, all the things. It's comforting to think about all these things in the off season and what you could be and come out here on the field and you have some success versus a very good offense that we have, man. So, you know, Ed, Greg, AJ, Boogie, all these guys are, are having great counts. With that being said, how much fun are you having in Coach Frazier's defense? I, I'm, I'm having fun. I, I really don't have any complaints. Um, you know, I, they did their homework on me and the type of player that I am and what I what I can do on the football field and. You know, we out here and they they uh they put me in situations to win. They put me around guys that's gonna help me win. Um, I, I'm really enjoying like just being around the young guys. You know, they're they're so um they just uh they just retain so much information. They're like sponges, like especially Greg. We talk about something on the field. We talk about like a a long arm or just a simple shit, and he'll take that into the team period and he'll just make it his own and 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 just take that over the top. So it's good to um it's good to just. You know, just to talk to people and they take the stuff that you tell them and they make it their own and they just become something else. So it's uh, it's, it's definitely been enjoyable to be to be around all of these guys, all the young guys, everybody on offense to see Josh Allen close up close and, and personal, man. Like we, we got a great team and I'm excited about it. I to see that at all out of Greg today because every time we talk to him, he's so kind of like quiet, mild yeah. manner. Then he got out there and was like, he just slapped the guy in the helmet. Yeah, Greg's a demon and I'm going to bring it out of him. You know, I've been feeding him gunpowder. And gasoline. I've been feeding him gunpowder and gasoline at lunch and breakfast, and it's good to see him come out here and go crazy. I think it's more so like this offensive line. I think um, going against uh, Deion Dawkins and you know and and and, 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 Queens and Queensberry and. 
you know, all these guys. These guys are tough guys that they've been playing the league for a while. And, you know, it's like a, it's like we go out here and we spar every single day. And um, you want a great sparring partner. You want a guy that's going to that's gonna leave it all out there, that's, that's going to spar hard with you so you can be prepared when, you know, when the bullets are flying. And, you know, going against Dion and, and going against David, man, you know, all these guys are great, man. Going against uh, Tommy Doyle, you know, we've had some, ba some battles as well. He's going to be great as well. And um, all these guys are, are the bodyguards for, for Josh, man. And, you know, like you said, iron sharpens iron. And, you know, be able to compete against, you know, great tackles and an elite quarterback like this, man, it's, it's been fun. It's, it's been refreshing for me. Um, you know, every time I come out here, I hear the music, I, I feel like I got to dance. And I still get this, this uh, I wouldn't say it's anxiety, but I still feel, I still feel alive on the inside when, when I step out on the football field. So I'm, I'm excited, man, and it's going to be a great year. The other young guys. The other young guys? Yeah, what do you feed them? Uh, I, I feed, um, you know, I, I feed Greg gasoline and gum powder. And other guys, their stomach's not developed for it yet, though. They, you know, I'm still trying to check them out. But, you know, I don't know what Ed is eating, but <laughs> we need to find out because he's going crazy out there. <laughs> the intensity. Josh said that sometimes good teams fight. These couples, do we in the media make more of a bigger deal than it is to you guys? Oh. Uh, I mean, it's exciting, right? It's, it's entertainment. I, I, I mean, what, you know, what, uh, what type of media that sees a fight and doesn't write about it? Like, especially when you got Josh Allen and Jordan Phillips, like that's gonna go viral every single time that happens. You know, Josh Allen pick on the, the, the strongest and biggest person on the football team. Like, that's that's gonna, that's gonna go viral every single time. So, no, you guys. I mean, you guys are just doing your job. I mean, I do a great job and. You um you let guys uh, that's not here at practice feel like they're here at practice and you know all the big moments you guys capture it you know and um yeah I appreciate you guys hats off to you guys you guys are doing a great job.